Alright everybody, welcome back to Dredge. As you know, we're going to be 100%ing this game, so we have to find all the fish we're missing. Which, so far, we're doing pretty good on. So we need to go to... Devil's Spine. Because we already got everything at the uh, Twisted Strand and Stellar Base in last video, so now we're on Devil's Spine. This can be caught by Rod and Trollpock during the day. No, Troll Net, not a pot. Um... More nets. It seems like everything here can be caught with a net except for the ghost shark. So right now we're going to be going for this thing. We do have to make sure we have the right net equipped, do we? Yes we do, we have volcanic. Now we lower the net and look for the fish. Via spyglass. Because if we get close, we will probably die. Oh, that's right, I need to change my, uh, fishing gear as well. To actually be able to catch the things here. Shipyard. Gonna have to get rid of this. And I'm gonna have to instead use the versatile raw. As it's the only thing I can use. Because, for some reason, I can catch volcanic stuff with it. Alright, what was I doing again? I think it was engines I was working towards. Only two more parts. Do you, are you selling? Are you selling those parts? You are selling the parts. That one in the middle is glitched. Hope that's not a problem later. It, it probably won't be. It's actually about to turn night. I'm gonna actually see what fish we can fish up during the night. Uh, this one right here. We need an aberration of it. It's coastal, which we can catch. Oh, hey, look, there's one of the things we need, but I don't think we're gonna get there in time. I think it's gonna disappear. Yeah. Because now it's night. What else do we got around here? Nothing? Nothing. Except some eels. Do I have all the aberrations of these eels? Let me check. Actually, I haven't even caught one of these. Um, no, that's not a frail DL. It's this. Yeah, we have all of them. So we got to sail around close to these islands. I'm pretty sure that's where the coastal stuff spawns, next to the coast. The volcanic stuff can spawn, like, anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure if I said this. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Rumble. No, it's more of those eels I don't want. I mean, might as well uh, fish this up. Dredge. We're almost uh, done with Dredge, and I'm almost done with the script. And by almost done with the script, I mean I have no clue when the script's gonna end, man. Did not expect to have to write down so much for the story explained video. Because it turns out there's a lot of things happening in just, like, the first area. It takes, like, an hour to write five minutes worth. Oh, that's right, we need a vessel. Guess we did need that rod, then. But okay, it said the spawns are in night and during day, and I haven't even caught a single thing in this net, so I guess I was wrong. Remember, we need aberrations of these things, not the normal versions. Two. Maybe we ought to go pay the mayor a visit. I mean, the mines will sell these things, right? There we go. Volcanic snail. These hefty beasts live around hydrothermal vents. Its foot, quote unquote, is coated in hardened iron plates, which means you could catch the snail with a magnet. Interesting. I wonder what the aberration is going to be then. Maybe it's made of gold? Because it takes one of the things that's like most notable about the fish, and then it twists it. Or something that nobody's even heard about in the fish in the description. But then twists it. 
So I'm gonna think it's probably made out of like gold or something. But it's fool's gold. Pyrite. Pretty sure that's the scientific name for fool's gold. Mm. Sell everything. Crabs are actually worth a lot, apparently. Mm. Alright, um... So we need abyssal stuff, meaning we need this. But there's no way to use both of them at the same time, that's kind of annoying. Because we need this net. Actually, can I put out multiple nets? Oh. Like, what's underneath here? No, you can only have one of these nets. That's kind of annoying. Like, it's completely understandable, but at the same time, like, why can't you use two nets? What's the point of adding those two extra spaces if you can't even use them? Alright, it's daytime again. I think I do actually need the aberration of the frail deal. Sharp. Yeah. I do. Might as well work on the things I can get easily and that are around me instead of going for one specific thing. Well, that, that's more difficult than usual. That's it? Only one? Pale shark? Do I have all the pale shark? Yes, I do. I wonder if fishing up an aberration increases the panic meter. I doubt it does. It'd be cool, but I doubt it does that. What the? This is actually difficult. I find this to be the most difficult mini game out of them all. I find the easiest one to be just the basic one for like the fish from the minnows. Not a single aberration, oh well. Snake mackerel. Should tell me that area over there counts as this area, right? These areas are actually bigger than I think. A whale. What am I? What, what am I looking for? Is 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 am I looking for that eel? The snake mackerel. Yeah, we're looking for a snake mackerel, which was where all the way over there, or is this it? And I'm just delusional. No, that that's Hadel. I know we're working on the coastal stuff. There it is, snake mackerel. Uh, orcas, I think. Sounds like a dolphin, though. I missed. There we go. Not getting any aberrations so far. This is kind of unlucky. Really, no, not a single aberration. Also, like these, like main areas, sort of like pop out. Like I can't see the islands that well, but I can see this perfectly fine. And this is where you're supposed to go. I'm guessing they did that on purpose. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, go make sure to make sure to go watch some of my other series um, that I do. Almost crashed into that. Make sure to go vote in that poll. There we go. We got the stable reacher. Oh wait, cursed fish.
Where did those fish even come from? Alright. Let's just grab some of this stuff. Get it out of the way. Alright. Wings of mussels spin their webs behind inky black legs. A glooming core grows in the deep. Are these real fish? Like, in the real world, could you find these fish? You probably wouldn't be able to find the aberrations. But I'm saying, like, the real... Is there, like, a real version of these? Or are they based on real fish? Or are they actually real fish? The names of these fish. And, like, where they actually most likely appear. And we just actually got a serpent macro, which is the one we were missing. It lashes out with its teeth. Its tail. A hissing rises from its mouth. And then, from the water around you. What does any of that mean? Mm. But I think there's like so many great DLCs they can do. Like, I. If I wouldn't want, wanted any DLC I, idea I've ever had for a DLC to come true, it would probably be one where um, you're going to an old, like, oil platform in the middle of the ocean. See, I've never found one of these before, now I'm finding tons of them. Uh, anyways, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, like... You're, you're uh, hired to, like, go salvage some old oil platform in the middle of the ocean. And then there's, like, just monsters around it. Caused by, um... The fog. And the fog is actually way worse there. And, like, the, mo the monster will see your lights. Like, if you have your lights on, the monster will attack you. But if you don't have them on, you're more likely to crash, because it's going to be like an oil platform, tons of rocks everywhere, and a lot of fog. So either you turn off your lights and you're more likely to get hit by a rock, or you turn on your lights and you attract the monster. Ghost shark. I think I need the ghost shark, but I don't think I can actually get to it. Actually, I remember putting out a crab pot this away a long time ago. Did I not? Could have sworn I went somewhere like out in the deep, like a hundred meters deep, and dropped a, dropped a crab pot. Maybe it broke. There's really nothing over here. Also, I like if you go here and complete that um, task where you get all the tablets, you get the best light in the entire game. The best light. You can't get better lights, you can't combine two other lights to make it better. Because you just can't really. Oh, I, 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 I sailed past here, that's why these fish are after me. Right, let, let, let's actually focus on what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, do I have fish on me? I think so, right? No, I do not. Alright, um tab. Encyclopedia. Devil's Spine. We're looking for this. Daytime only. We're looking for Ghost Shark, Frailed Shark, and a bunch of things I can catch. So that's all we're looking for. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to focus on the Ghost Shark then. It seems to be around here a lot more. Alright, now we get this. Even though it's not like the most efficient, I'm pretty sure they're, um, that um, this is way more efficient in catching fish. This gives us an aberration bonus. And the more chance we have to get an aberration, the better. And honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, definitely disappointed in that DLC that we actually did get. So no, I do not want to grab that. Actually, yeah, dude, these are all about to break, right? No, they're not even close to breaking. Did I, did I or did I not just grab that? I did not, apparently. 
really could have sworn I heard the sound of me grabbing it, but apparently not. I could have sworn there was four here. But... No, apparently there isn't. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, disappointed in the Pale Reach DLC. They, they could have done a lot more. Like, I don't know exactly what they could have done, but th there, there was definitely... Like, the... It, it was really short, the DLC. Which, for the price, was okay. It was, it was okay for it to be that short for, like, the price. But at the same time, I also expected a lot more. From, um... Dredge. I, I don't know what exactly to say about it, the DLC. It was kind of, it's kind of like a small thing to do if you like the game. It's not really something I would, um, I don't know. It's just not really something I would, like, uh, say is the greatest or recommend someone who's, doesn't, who's, like, likes the game, but it's not, like, to the point where they replayed it once again or tried to 100% it. Or just played the game after completion. If you haven't done that, then I probably wouldn't recommend the Pale Reach DLC to you. Like, if you really like the game, then yeah, you should, you, 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 you should totally play it again. But use the Pale Reach DLC. It was like... An hour, maybe two, worth of gameplay. For $5. I think it was $5. I think I bought it on sale. I actually don't remember how much it cost it. Like, it, it, the DLC was okay. That's about the best, be, the best I, I'll give it. it. It was okay. It could have been, like, a million times better. And the monster barely chased me. I, I didn't put a single fish on that thing to drive it away. And it didn't even chase me, the monster. I was able to outrun it. Outmaneuver, outmaneuver it. No matter what it did, it could not catch up to me. In fact, I didn't even think I got hit by it once. And I kind of wish there was maybe more monsters. But I, here's one thing I think. I, I think it did add the Stingray, which is by far one of the most annoying monsters. Because it appears for no reason at all. It chases you. Attacks you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Trying to get both these fish to follow me. Get rid of them. Then quickly drive through here without them seeing me. Big mistake. That did not work at all. Like this area honestly is not that scary. Like the first time it was it was scary. Second time, like after after the first episode I was here, it was it was it was no longer scary. Like, as soon as you realize how you can defeat the monster and how it works, the monster's no longer scary. I just wish there was, like, another monster constantly stalking you that was actually, like, scary. Because otherwise, the game's not that scary after a while. I mean, it's still a good game. It, it's a relaxing game. Just stay in the minnows don't really do much, and yeah, it's, it's super relaxing. Just, just fish and sell a fish. See how high of a number you can get. Can I go back up to the ancient lighthouse? The room is empty. Turn around and leave. Like, I kind of wish there was, like, more mysteries in the game. Like, there's there's a lot already. Okay, I'll give the game that. But, like, they all are either... They either give you so little about the mystery that it might as well not even be there, and there's no way to figure out what actually happened. Or it's just about the main story, or there's no mystery at all. No explanation, and it just never gets talked about again. Oh, here we go, trophy. Come on, we gotta get the aberration eventually. There it is. 
The... I'm not sure how to say that, and I'm not sure how to say that either. I'm not sure how to say that, or that, or that. The air in front of this deep dweller... Oh, slice? Slices? The air in front of this deep dweller, its small body encased in a suit of thick bone. Is that... what was that over there? Over there, it's right over there. Like, again, like, the, the only thing that's out in here in the ocean's deep is the Leviathan. Which you can easily get away from. I mean, sure, I died to it. By accident. That's because I didn't know what it did. And now I know what it does, and I actually know that it attacks me. I'm perfectly fine. Devil Spine. We need an aberration of the Ghost Shark. Frail Shark. The spider crab, volcanic snail. I don't see this fish in here at all. Must be like oceans deep or something. I'll just throw both of them away. Like, if we're, we're, real quick, I can tell. So, once I go a hundred meters, I'm pretty sure I'm definitely in oceans deep, as that's the that's the deepest you can go in this game is 100 meters, which in American is 300 feet. No fish at all, because I can't catch oceanic. So now we're in oceans deep. This is oceans deep. That's quite a distance, and now Leviathan can hunt me. Is, yeah, it has 300 feet between the top of the ocean and the ocean floor. But that's it. No matter how far you go out after that, it's only ever going to be 300 feet. Or 100 meters. If you're, like, not American. Oh, there it is. Ghost Shark. Honestly, I, I will admit... These 100%ing episodes aren't the most interesting, and also I constantly see this. Like, look, look at that over there. It's just nothingness. Right there is just pure nothingness. Like a texture is just not loaded correctly. Come on, aberration. We got it. Um, don't know what that says. Shark, a grinning maul turned upwards to the sky. Wing-like fins, ready to take flight. Interesting. Devil Spine. We got that. We got that. We got that. We got this. All that's left is a spider crab, volcanic snail, and this. Frail shark. So now we need to look for the frail shark. It's only in volcanic waters. The other two can be caught in the crab pots, so that's just a waiting game. And also, I'm, I'm actually, like, too fast for these fish. Like, all the monsters, I'm too fast for them to catch me. Even these, like, whispers of madness can't catch me. Like, at a, a certain point, you go too fast for the monsters to catch you. Are any of these fish stale? This one's rotting. I caught that in the early morning. This one's stale as well. Still paying $641 for it, but that also has some um, net stuff in it. Alright, so now we no longer need this. We now go back to the versatile rod, meaning we have less of a chance to actually catch these aberrations. Like, I really wish... But there was like, um, like I already said, I wish there was a troll net that, um, we have a special troll net, which we did get. Did I say that? I don't think I actually did. I was wish there was an aberrated troll net. We got that in the DLC, and here we go. The Umbrella Puppet. Long limbs hang, hang idly from its body. Mounted with blackened spears, it waits for the call of the void. Interesting. That totally seems like something you'd want to eat, right? 
and that you'd pay, you'd pay extra money to eat. You know what, I bet the traveling merchant's actually making money from these things by selling them to, like, the fishmonger. She's probably selling these tainted fish to the fishmonger, knowing that he'll eat it. Okay, now we get actually our final engine, right? Yes, we do. I guess now we'll work on these nets. Alright, let's go to the shipyard engines. Here we go. That's just a smaller version of this. So, 9.5 knots. This is 26, but that can take up three spaces, so that's... Nah, it's not even worth it. What about for this? Nope. Right? 9, 18, 27. It actually is worth it. Alright. I just realized I can only buy one at a time. Oh well, I guess we'll sleep until the next morning to buy another one until we have the max amount of them, going even faster than before by like five knots. Because mm. once you sleep, she restocks on everything. Bait, research parts, everything you need. There we go, another jet engine. Because that's 67. This is 52. That takes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's 5 times 9? That's 40. No, it's, it's not worth it there. But remember, these are 9.5. I'd have to do the math later if I was to figure out if it's more efficient to just have jet engines only. It might be. If I count all the 5s at the end of it. Repair all. Another jet drive engine, now we can actually leave. Buy this. So that she doesn't actually fully stock up on these, there's only one. There's either one or two, or even sometimes none there. But we do finish this and start working on this. So this is coastal and oceanic. That'll probably be useful when I'm trawling the oceans deep. Which that is what the that's what the area is called. It's called the Ocean's Deep. Which you might be thinking I'm saying oceans that the ocean is deep, but it's the area is called Ocean's Deep. Like the deepest part of the ocean. Let me go to yeah, Encyclopedia. Open Ocean. Okay, I was wrong. I thought it was called Ocean's Deep, but it's called Open Ocean. I'm just crazy. I'm still gonna call it Ocean's Deep. Actually, there's still some ice fish we have not caught in the Pale Reach. We still haven't caught that one. That's depth of 50 meters or more. 50 meters or more. That's easy because literally everything over in the Pale Reach is above 50 meters for one reason. Um, it's at the max, like, reach of the entire zone. Like, the entire zone is like 100 meters deep, or like 90 meters deep in most areas. I'm actually going way fast now. For a second there, I thought that was an aberration, I just got super lucky, but nah. Guess luck isn't on my side. See, as soon as I get one, one of those cursed abominations, then I instantly get tons of them. It's like as soon as you catch her, oh, there we go. The grasping snail. Bony fingers extend through members of membranes of mucus, feeling for a target. Frantic eye locks of yards. Cool. Still not sure why someone would buy this. These fish are just like, why would you eat this? Does that mean that's all the things I need to ca catch with the crab pots? In this area. We just need... I actually need to go to Devil's Spine. We just need that aberration. And that's it. 
So we're just focusing on this thing, which is day and night, rod only, volcanic. We just search, and once we find it, we're gonna use atrophy. A trophy? I don't know, I've heard people say both. There we go, the twisted shark. Three tails that twist and turn, three unite behind the head. Thrice the body that must be fed. Interesting. One thing I kind of like, but the same that I don't, is that the, like the fish still maintains the same um, like shape of how many cargo it takes up. I kind of wish that maybe if it was an apparition, maybe it took up a different sort of zone. Like maybe the exact opposite. Like imagine this, but the exact opposite of it. That's worth two hundred and thirty-five dollars. That also concludes our adventure here. Is that the right word? It probably is. Let's just make sure we got everything. Let's start at the beginning. <clears throat> Devil's spine. Uh, check. Yep. Yep. We got that. We got that. Yeah, we got it. The next on our list is um, Gale Cliffs. Which we have to get... There's actually a few things we have to get here. We have to get uh, one crab. I mean, we just put it at zero meters. Anything below five. That way we don't get the rock crab. And yeah, th th this should be pretty easy. Yeah, so we're, we're done with this area. We can uh, retrieve this and we can leave. Retrieve. I never use that thing. I'm like, hey, maybe I'll maybe I'll use this, but I never do, because like you have to go back to get it. Maybe if there's an option to retrieve it from the other side, that way it's like faster. Then again, it wouldn't make sense for it to be a faster version of something we already have. Because then what's the point of something we already have? There must be an engine upgrade, right? To give me a few more slots with this engine. Also, I, I love how this ability is literally like just throwing it overboard. But at the same time, it's just so boring. I need to get all these repaired. Watch the cost come in for how good this thing is and... Isn't, isn't. It, it's okay. Like, it's a good way to make passive income and if you just want a bit of money, then you just sleep for the remainder of your of the day and then... Wake up for to some money. That's crab pots. Because remember, there is one that's at exactly 100 meters deep, which is 300 feet. Exactly there is where we can get um like a special type of crab. Because there, there's this section of this book. Unless I'm crazy and remembering things wrong. Exotic. It's pale reach. 50 feet deep. Unknown. Day and night. With a rod. An abyssal creature. The gulper eel is what we found in the Hadal areas. And I just realized something. These are the fish she wants. These are the fish. Oh my gosh. This is the fish that... It's all making sense now. The fish that the traveling merchant wants are the exotic ones. Only through her hints of where to find them will we find them. In some areas we haven't finished yet. I guess we'll finish off truly with that. And I guess we'll also finish off this episode once we reach Gale Cliffs, which is if I remember correctly this way. No, it's this way. Also, I did want to go to one of these islands down here, apparently, according to one of my markers. Which one is it? It's this one. I'm not sure what's over here that I wanted to go visit. I think there's actually a flag. I think I left a flag here because I couldn't pick it up. Oh no, wait, this is just, this is just me marking this, dude. Yeah. So basically, once I catch all the fish, I'll talk to this guy and then I'll give him the proper fish. Because I'm not sure what he gives me in return. He might give me money. I don't know. All I know is if I talk to him, he will die. As I cannot get in the fish he needs. 
even even when I do have like all the fish unlocked and know exactly where they are, these guys are probably still gonna die. I have no clue what I'm doing. Also, wait at least like ten days, five days, not ten days, after I fish out the final fish. That way, all the fish can come back. That way, I can get the exact fish she wants. All right, dock here. Fish market. We don't have any fish, do we? No, we had some fish in here. All right, now we're going to set up for next episode. We get rid of this. We'll grab our good buddy, the Radiant Trawl Net back. We still need this, right? Yeah, we drop all of our Trawl Nets into the ocean at anywhere below five meters. It's actually pretty hard to find. Because at five meters or below is the only place we can catch the crab we're looking for. Oh, yeah, I remember the monster here. It's quite kind of annoying. I'm gonna go get some packed explosives from this dude over here. I almost crashed there like two times in a row. Good thing this does not damage you because the tires. Wailing yard. I did come from some packed explosives. These are actually cheaper when I buy it from him, I think. Good thing I have infinite money now. So I can afford to buy whatever I need. Do you have anything to say? What about you? Alright, nobody has anything to say. Good. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, till next time, goodbye and thanks for watching. Also, I like the look of the first ship better than the last improvement of the ship. Like, it just looks weirder now. The first, it looked like a real ship. Now, I don't even know if this looks real.